Hi everybody. Um, I'm gonna do an alcohol ink. Um, this is for my friend Jenny. Um, I don't know how well this will go. I've never um, videotaped me doing an alcohol ink, um, but let's get started. I don't know how, if, if it turns out, then I guess you'll see this. Um, so I'm using going to use three inks. I have two kinds of inks. I have pinata, which is from Jacker, Jackard, and also um, Ranger ink, alcohol inks, and those are my favorites. So pinata is a little bit um, thicker, um, so it leaves, it stays in place a little bit longer as far as when you're trying to blow out the flowers. Um, I'm also, so the colors I'm using are Baja Blue in Pinata, or Jack from Jackard, Sunset Orange, which is a Ranger ink, and Pitch Black. Um, I'm gonna kind of layer these. Um, I'm gonna make a center, uh, a center to start with. Um, I have an airbrush and a heat gun, and both of those things I use uh, when I'm doing this type of stuff. So um, let's just get started. So I'm gonna put down uh, pinata first. I have to try to aim for the center. I'm not usually good at that. Just gonna put a drop there. Then I'm going to use my heat gun. I already kind of did what I didn't want it to do, but that's okay. I might make that spot a little bit bigger, actually. dry it. Put a nice circular motion with the heat gun. It's a really pretty color. The next color I'm going to use is the pitch black and this pitch black does wonderful things. Um, it may, You can just use pitch black and you'll have all kinds of different colors just with it alone. Um, but this gives the petals a really pretty black edge. One drop is probably enough with that. I'm gonna dry it again. I dry between each layer. Okay. And then the last coat I'm gonna do is the orange. It's sunset orange. I'm hoping I don't get resin dust all over the place. I've been um, sanding down resin this morning. Don't worry about these little bits that get on the yuppo paper. Um, they'll, they'll come out. So this is probably gonna be a variety of colors and I'm still not split square in the middle, am I? It happens all the time. I guess at some point I'm gonna to have to start marking that. Okay, so here's my airbrush and my airbrush um, had, the way I have it set, I'm gonna try to set it to where I would like it to be. So that's the highest PSI, I think that's called. I'm gonna take that down a little bit. If I turn this knob, every airbrush is different. It's still pretty fast. So what I'm trying to aim for with this is big, big petals. And so the air gun, how you do the air gun is really important um, because the, the air gun, if you're, if you're aiming straight out like this with the air gun, you're gonna have all kinds of weird results. But if you 
are doing it backwards and you have a fairly big puddle of alcohol, um, you can make the big petals come out. Um, the alcohol I'm using, it's industrial grade, 99 plus percent purity. The higher the alcohol content, um, the, the better the alcohol inks turn out uh, because it dries faster. Um, as far as um, you don't have a lot of water, basically. Um, so here we go, and I'm gonna put a fairly big puddle for the first one. And you let it set for a minute, be very patient. So that first one doesn't look great, but um, we'll be going around again. So, fairly big puddle. I'm gonna let it set. That's a better one. And you have to go all the way out till it dries. I'm gonna let that set. See these beautiful edges? And that's from the pitch black. Um, so keep going around in a circle. I have a tendency to overwork things too. I'm gonna try not to do that. That one kind of went off on its own, didn't it? But wait for just a second. The way it gets all the colors combined that it wants to. one of the darker ones I've done. I'll let that sit. <laughs> that really didn't go anywhere, did it? Okay, so we're gonna go around again. One odd flower, I think. Interesting flower, anyway. For sure. Huh, this is a really cool effect This is hap that's happening here. Um, it's hmm. a nice surprise. I know there are ways that you can make it so it doesn't do these funny things, but I uh, like using a Q-tip with alcohol in it to make the flow go better. But I kind of like what's happening with this flower, so I don't really want to, to ruin it. Um, I don't want to ruin it by fixing it, if that makes sense. It's 
funny, I kind of feel like it needed that, but I'm gonna try to do that over. There we go. more that comes out over here. There we go. This doesn't look like any flower I've ever seen, but it is pretty cool. This petal just isn't right, so I'm trying to fix this petal. That does look better. There's another one that's not right. You just keep going around until it's where you want it to be. Um, at Baja Blue, sometimes with, with these other colors, you have to apply them again to keep going around, but this Baja Blue stays true for quite a while. And that was a humongous petal. That's okay. Some of this is going to be cut off because uh, it's too big for... I like to leave a little space um, to cut off edges, especially when I don't hit the middle, like what happened again. Um, I want this to be a thicker petal. A little bit more alcohol there. really interesting stuff going on in there. done doing this part.
center is really dark. I'm doing double petals everywhere else. I really have to have these double petals, but this is due. There we go. There we go. That's really getting interesting now. said those edges will get cut off. <laughs> kind of almost looks like stained glass in there. No, I'm gonna screw up. I'm gonna try to fix it. What happens when I get over anxious? <laughs> Ugh. Let me try to fix this here. Slow and steady wins the race. Interesting wacko, but still wacko. It does take some getting used to on how you work your air gun, uh, airbrush gun, because you have to know how how much pressure to put. Um, because this, that's heavy pressure. Sometimes you can just do your finger barely and you don't have a lot of uh, pressure coming out so it, you can uh, do your lines better. definitely some interesting lacing and stuff going on in there. Um, I wish I had that in the center, but I don't. <clears throat> you notice on any of my flowers you've seen, none of them are in the center. Apparently I don't know how to do that. Well, trying to fill in some places here. You notice you don't really see the sunset orange. Um, no, I don't. done with this part. I said that already once, but did I?
looks kind of busy up here at the top, but I'm okay with that, I think. Just kind of make it busy everywhere. This one's gonna have a wacko name too. Sam Wacko, I don't know. It's probably not a politically correct name. I don't think I'll call it Wacko. Okay, I gotta say done. I'm done with that part. All right. So obviously this is the center of the flower. Um, I feel like I'm showing too much cleavage, I'm sorry. Um, Ugh, 22 minutes already. Okay. Um, but you know what? I'm not done. I feel like, I feel like this part needs a little bit more. really pretty stuff out here. I wish it would do that right there, but we're going to call that the shadow. That'll be the shadow area of the flower. Um, so I have to reach over because what's holding my camera up, the stand is the alcohol and my markers. So I need to reach in and get my markers. Okay. So we're gonna call this the shadow. So I need to, I first need to dab off. Not with that one. I need to dab off this alcohol ink here. So with this being the shadow, we're gonna make um, the center have a shadow also. So these are acrylic um, markers. Just gonna round this off a little bit. There's nothing in nature that's perfect. So I've been told. Um, so this does need to dry because it's acrylic, um, but I do that with my heat gun. So on low, this poor heat gun's been through a lot. Most recently, uh, dealing with resin. And so it's, I thought I broke it, but I didn't, thank goodness. I have, I have one at the apartment a heat gun. I don't do resin at the apartment. Um, and I have a heat gun for here. And I thought that I was gonna have a problem with this one, but because I couldn't get it to go on the low setting, but now it does fine. It's got a low and a high. Um, so now we've got this black center. So, um, what I've been doing lately with my flowers is I like to, I like to try to make them look 3D, which that has been working out fairly well. Um, this is another um, acrylic marker and it has an edge, uh, something that I can make thin lines with. 
I've been doing a lot of practicing on how to make better centers. Sorry, this is just not cooperating very well. Okay, okay. So remember I said that this is gonna be the shadow part. So the majority of my dots that are really, really um, white are going to be down here. And this is gonna have, so I'm gonna put white dots up there too. Um, but it's not gonna have as many white dots because that's in shadow. So you wanna try to make it look 3D, so. So dots and marks. I'm gonna blend this white in with another color for the top to make it more of a, a shadow. I've tried doing the center with alcohol ink markers and I do have those too. Um, but I have, I have more luck with, with acrylic markers doing that. Um, please feel free to try whatever um, you want to, to try to get the effect you want. Um, but um, I have luck doing it this way. trying to get this done before the rain because that makes my my petals not very good if it's raining. Um, so, I'm gonna use a gray, maybe. It uh, doesn't have the right tip on it. We'll try it, we'll try it. looking nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gray down here. Not a lot. I have all kinds of tools that I um, use, dotting tools and stuff, and that was really, I was using those when um, I was trying to do the centers with, they look like this, these little dotting tools. Um, that's actually too uh, thick of an edge, but um, But it also works with acrylics, these do, because it kind of gives it more of that 3D effect. Um, I shouldn't have put my white away, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more white work here.
my arm is a little shaky this morning. Um, I was using a sander for quite a bit of the morning and uh, I feel like it's in control of itself and, and I'm not in control of this arm. Um, I did enjoy myself though, using the sander. I'm glad that I, uh, I didn't realize that we had it right here in the house in the basement where my um, acrylic, where my uh, studio is. Um, and Kenny was home from in his home office one day and, and I'm like, do we have a sander? And of course I knew we did. I just didn't know where it was. And he's like, yeah, it's right underneath the workbench that's in my studio. And I'm like, oh, so I've been using that like crazy. I actually um, brought one of the paintings that I thought that was one of my favorite paintings. I sanded off, I had made the mistake of resining it when the resin was almost too uh, hot to work with and it ruined the painting or so I thought. Um, but now with the sander, I can bring it back to life and I have, um, it's got, it's something that I'm gonna keep for myself only because it turned out really, uh, it was really pretty, um, but I was, I had an intention of selling it, um, but ever since uh, the whole, I resined it wrong thing, um, and now that I've scratched some of the canvas, trying to get that stuff off this morning, um, I'm for sure gonna keep it for myself. I have to do some work on it though. If you can see down here, if you can see down here, um, the black, uh, the, the pitch black is coming through on my white marker and you can kind of see some, some pink coming through there. And that's just the alcohol, that's uh, what that black, that pitch black alcohol ink does. One thing you have to have when doing alcohol inks is patience. Same thing with resin. Um, but this, doing this, and I have some issues with anxiety and, and stuff like that. And um, this kind of stuff just really, really relaxes me. If I'm having a bad day, I have this at my apartment too. Um, I have, I have alcohol links at my apartment, but uh, so if I'm having a bad day, I go and I do some of that and, and that helps me um, clear my mind um, and get control of myself. <laughs> um, all right, what do we think guys? Um, do want to use a little spray up there again. This is not the right, um, oh, this one has one though. I'm going to switch out the end. Now we've got the right chiseled end. Okay. There we go. So this is the shadow part, remember? So it's darker. Although not as dark as I'd like it. 
That's okay, I can fix that. Okay, so I am going to heat that up a little bit and then I'm gonna add some black, which I didn't want to have to do that, but I will. So this is what happens to me every time I end up going over something. But this is part of the process because I want it to have that shadowy look. <clears throat> now I got the um, air gun Believe it or not, I got this air gun off of Amazon. The one for my apartment I got at Hobby Lobby and it's just a cheap, uh, well, I guess it depends on your definition of cheap, um, cake decorating, cake decorating um, air gun. Um, I was very happy with the price. Uh, I think it was $99 and it's also got a compressor. Um, I don't, I think they still have it, have them. I was, I was very happy with that price because I really wanted one for the apartment. I don't want to have to drag things back and forth. And of course I was having the inkling of wanting to do, uh, alcohol inks that week and I was not going to be home and Kenny wasn't going to come up and I'm like, well, I'm just going to get one. And I tend to do that drives my husband crazy crazy because he's like I could have got that to you for your birthday well I didn't want it for my birthday I wanted it like now so I have that tendency of doing stuff like that and that's just me that's how I am um okay so there's the center I'm going to add whoopsie gonna add some dots here how am I oh 38 minutes um I'm gonna add add some color of some of the colors that are in here um so I gotta reach over. Woo! Lost, almost lost you guys. Sorry. Uh, that happened to me yesterday too, when I was doing an acrylic pour. Was it yesterday? I don't think it was yesterday. I was kind of a slug yesterday. Um, I don't want it. Oh, there we go again. I'm so sorry, whoever's watching this. I apologize for my. Uh, messiness okay that one or not messiness but uh, not that one clumsiness i guess is what i meant um yeah i think so those two colors so when i also want to put some of the white around there and the gray since i used both of those um but i can actually do dots of that now so is silver. I don't want silver. I want gray. That does not look like gray. Kind of come and like become like a signature kind of thing for my flowers um and people tend to like it like that like i'm like this so um 
kind of like to add, add it. What I have to get out of my head though, is that things are not perfect. So I don't need to have as many on one side as I had on the other side. Now, I was, when I was a kid, um, <clears throat> no laughing at me. When I was a kid, I thought everything had to be even on both sides. So for instance, now people are gonna really find out how crazy I am. Uh, for instance, if I touched a doorknob with my left hand, I had to reach over and touch it with my right hand. Everything seemed to be like that. I had to do everything equal. Now this was probably up until I was 10 maybe, I don't know. Uh, but yep, that's me, I did that. And uh, it's kind of crazy, I know. Some people think I'm too honest. Well, I don't think you can be too honest. Um, um, honesty is important. So, white. These edges need to be cleaner, I think. Or messier, I should say. I think I'm giving it more of a 3D effect. I like it. Like I'm losing it though, I'm losing the center. And this does not have a good end. Let me see if I can do something about that.
cleaning tool. Still wet, alcohol ink dries really fast. see that that's the way it will be because I put the top too high or the middle too high so that's the flower um, now that I have the edges figured out so I think I need to go back in with white yep I do this all the time I'm sorry nope not that white one So it's kind of dotting and spreading, dotting and spreading is what I'm doing. a new way I sign my name. I need to find that. I'll be right back. art teacher, Linda Heck. She's not old. She was my art teacher when I was young. Um, sorry, Linda, if you're watching this. Um, she came up with a way to put my name because I talked to my husband about it and he's like, well, I think you should be known as Izzy because I know you as Izzy. Everybody knows you as Izzy. So I don't do I Kunz anymore. I do Izzy K. Um, but I want to be able to... Um, resin this or um, varnish it and I don't want this to smear so I use this pigment marker um, and let it dry and then I use it this is archival ink marker um, then I let it dry so I just kind of uh, uh, hope for the best and not ruin it um, because my problem is I like to go outside the line or, you know, go crooked because I'm a lefty. So I'm going to try not to do that. So 
So far, so good. There we go. So I'll trim off the edges and this will be done. I hope you enjoyed this, sorry it was so long. Bye.